Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. And today we're remaking the Rust Electricity 101 component guide for the memory cell. Because on February 7th, 2019, the update provided some changes to the memory cell. So this is the updated memory cell component guide. The memory cell is largely unchanged from where it was before. Its uh, description is now inaccurate because it's lacking its changes. But in general, the memory cell is a 1-bit storage component. And the set input sets it to 1. The clear input sets it to 0. That's effectively uh, on and off. And it's also known as a D-type flip-flop, and I'll show you why that is because of its outputs. So let's take a closer look at the uh, memory cell here. Uh, it can be placed on floors, it can be placed on walls, so that's handy for placement. Um, it's not a default blueprint, you craft it with five high qual, and you'll find it in crates and sunken chests. Uh, the memory cell has two lights on the front, uh, the top one right now is green, the bottom one is red, indicating it is in state zero. Uh, when it is changed to state one, you'll see both lights are green. Uh, it has an input on the bottom, it has two outputs, inverted out and out on the top, and it has three handles on the side, set, reset, and toggle. The inverted output is where the power goes when it's in state zero. The output is where the power goes when it is in state one. I'm going to connect the set handle to this switch here and the reset to the middle switch and the toggle to the bottom so I can demonstrate how this functions. Whenever you provide input to the set input, it changes the memory cell to state one. You can do this as many times as you want to, it will stay in state one. This is handy for when you want to make a stateful decision. For example, a trigger closes or opens a door or turns a light on and stays on. You don't want the person stepping off of the pressure pad or leaving the laser beam to turn off your output. So that event can cause this to go to state one, switch the power to output and stay there. It will stay in state one until you apply power to the reset handle, which I'll do now. You'll see it switched back to green and red, showing it is in state zero. And now the power has flopped back to the inverted output. The old version of the memory cell did not have the toggle input toggle input is great because you can make stateful decisions off of a single trigger so rather than needing a trigger for set and a trigger for reset the toggle now allows us to change the flip-flop every time you apply power so turn it on flips to output send power again it flops back to inverted output turn it on and so forth so now you have the ability to turn it on and have it stay on turn it off and have it stay off, or use an input to switch back and forth every time a signal is received. It's a variety of scenarios where this is handy, especially for making trap bases simple or making remote, remote door control a lot simpler. Uh, there is one, uh, what I would call a bug, but it's actually very convenient part of the memory cell, and that is unlike other electrical components, it presently does not consume a unit of power. So most you'd see 20 coming in and 19 going out. And in fact, it says 19 going out. But you can look at the display here and you'll see that regardless of what state it's in, it still puts out 20 units of power. This makes the memory cell ideal as a coupler when you're trying to run electrical wires a long distance because you can connect them from one memory cell to another without losing any power as you go along that great distance connecting cables together. So that's a little helpful trick that's available right now in the memory cell. A caution, it may be fixed in the future, but for the moment, it's a handy little trick for using it for extending cables. So in summary, the memory cell is a memory storage device. It is a flip-flop type trigger. When it is in its zero or off state, it provides power to the inverted output. When it is in its on or one state, it provides power to the regular output. And when you re-trigger 
the set or reset, the state does not change. If you want it to change on every trigger, you can use the new toggle handle. You'll see that it changes every time that you apply power. It's deployable on floors, walls, ceilings, etc. It's not a default blueprint, it costs you five high quality metal, and it is found typically in crates and sunken chests. It's a very valuable, versatile, and now more powerful than ever, it is the memory cell. Thank you.